former world title challenger, Ross Thompson. A step up in level of competition for 2000 U.S. Olympian, 98 U.S. amateur champ, Jeff Lacey, one of nine children whose father competed in the 68 Olympic trials. 209 amateur wins for Lacey. He lost to a Russian in the quarterfinals in Sydney. Get this, 25 fighters have backed out of fights, including his pro debut when his opponent jumped on a bus home after Lacey stripped to the waist at the weigh-in. Now tonight, Bobby, his first 12-rounder, although he averages his 2.3 rounds, 10 of his 11 wins by knockout, all within three, seven in the first. But is he a victim of his own knockout success? Steve, he'll only become a victim of his own knockout success if he lets it happen. He doesn't train and he expects a knockout to come. He expects everyone to fold under his tremendous power. Then that could be the occasion. But I'll tell you what, he seems to be a good kid, has no nose and grindstone, works hard. I don't expect that from him. His abilities are there, his conditions there, and the power is just icing in the cake. And of course, winning the crowd over with his Oklahoma Sooners football jersey. He did go 10 free fights back here in Oklahoma, but injured both hands in that bout, showing he could go the distance and fight with adversity. Lacey's most experienced opponent as a pro is the champ, Ross Thompson. First defense, though, he lost his last fight. A one-time prospect who's never really fulfilled his potential after being the 91 National Golden Gloves champ and alternate on the 92 U.S. Olympic team. He's experienced against top opposition, but never successful at the world-class level. Lost to Fernando Vargas for the 154-pound belt. The big knock of Bobby, lack of dedication in training, problems making weight, conditioning, stamina, inactivity. But despite all that, is he a self-admitted career underachiever, a legitimate risk for Lacey? Well, you know, Thompson has some power. He can box. And he showed that he can hit to the body very well. It's also hard to hit clean. Defensively, he moves his head a lot. If his condition is good, he can turn this into just an interesting bout. Now, one of the things I think that's key here, in his corner, one of the top trainers in boxing, my former trainer, Tommy Parks, can turn this around. Well, we may find out he's not a threat. We may be able to gauge just how good Lacey is, if not a full threat. Thompson's lost three of his last four, including his last fight to former welterweight champ Aaron Davis. We check the numbers to the tail of the tape. At 25, Lacey is four years younger than Thompson. Not much difference in height. A big six-inch reach advantage. Lacey, and at yesterday's weigh-in, Thompson right on. Lacey just Thank below. You. And the key rules for this bout. There's no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell. In any round, if an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth, they say no decision. If it happens after the end of round four, they go to the scorecards. So here in the state capital of Oklahoma City, getting ready for Ross Thompson versus Jeff Lacey for the WBC Continental America's Super Middleweight title, we get the formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and we welcome you to the Coca-Cola Bricktown Event Center here in the beautiful city of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We have a big night of action coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. It's all brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions and Holden Productions in association with the Sports Entertainment and Media Group, Golden Lion Productions, Showtime, and the undisputed king of beers, Budweiser. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the WBC, the supervisor is Claude Jackson, and the USBA supervisor Al Lucas, along with the Oklahoma Professional Boxing Commission. Introducing our three judges at ringside scoring this bout, from Choctaw, Oklahoma, Joe Miller, from Mustang, Oklahoma, Gerald Ritter, from Coral Springs, Florida, Peter Trematera, and the third man the referee in charge. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions. Gary Ritter. All right, fans, here we go. Twelve rounds of boxing scheduled for the USBA number one ranking at the WBC Continental America Super Middleweight Championship. Introducing you first, the challenger. Up my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with blue trim. Joining us from St. Petersburg, Florida. His weight, 167 and one half pounds. He is a distinguished member of the 2000 U.S. Olympic team. As a professional, he is undefeated at 11 wins, no losses, 10 wins coming by.
Productions, 12 rounds of championship boxing is scheduled. Okay, gentlemen, this is 12 rounds for the WBC Continental America Super Middleweight Championship. Conduct yourself as champions. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Both trunks are good. Touch gloves. Let's have a good one. The hot and cold Ross Thompson, beset by problems in and out of the ring, best known for his failed bid to win Fernando Vargas' junior uh, middleweight title. And the very approachable and highly scrutinized and hard-hitting Jeff Lacey with that throwback nickname of Left Hook Lacey. Good early power, sometimes paralyzing, but largely against low-level opposition.